Hi everybody, this is Lara, or Lara, 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 L-A-R-A. -A. She is a precious, tiny, tiny little Yorkie. She came to us with several other dogs from a hoarder breeder situation. Uh, the breeder ended up in the hospital with COVID and um, a relative of her reached out to another local rescue group and uh, anyways, we were told about this situation. We went there um, along with two other rescue groups and we ended up having to net and trap these dogs, uh, banging on furniture and stuff. We had to stand on top of furniture because the furniture was actually um, to the ceiling. So it was a matter of trying to bang on stuff to try to get the dogs to come out from hiding. And they did. Eventually, we ended up with nine dogs. Uh, from what we were told though, there were many, many more in there, but other breeders had already come in and uh, taken many of the dogs. So we got the ones that were hiding and very, very scared. Uh, Laura was actually the last one to be um, trapped with a net. Um, they were banging on the furniture. I spotted her and had the net and just scooped her right up. Uh, she wasn't too happy with me at that point, but she didn't try to bite or anything like that. Uh, she is very scared still, and but she was giving me kisses a while ago when I was uh, cutting, trying to open her eyes up a little bit with some of the matting. She is heartworm negative. She's up to date on everything. She's microchipped. Um, she is ready for adoption. Let me get that. Let me get that bow off of you for just a second. Um, I'm not sure about putting her on the ground. I'm not sure if I'll be able to catch her. <laughs> We've actually had a, a card on her kennel, no walks, because they were all very much flight risks. But I'm gonna give it a try because she is in a fenced area, six foot fence. So she just may give me a run for my money if, uh, if, <laughs> if I put her down and I can't catch her right away, but we'll get her. We've got three other volunteers here today that can help uh, get her if she does get away from me. All right, so we're gonna put you on the ground. You wanna get on the ground for just a minute? Come here. Good girl, what a precious baby you are. She's either gonna run from me or stick to me. Look at that. You wanna get on the ground, huh? Don't you wanna go check some stuff out? Go ahead. We need to get that off your booty. Don't run from me. Come here, Mama. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What you doing? Come here. Where are you going? Come here. Oh, here she comes. Good. Come here, Mama. Come here. Where are you going? Will you go hide from me? You can't hide. There's no place to hide. Come here. Come here. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Are oh, you still so scared? It's okay, little mama. It's okay. It's okay. So she'll need a home that's very understanding and patient to help her adjust, and I know she'll come around. If she was giving me kisses while I was doing her hair, that, that says a lot. She's just been through a lot. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off so I can go get her. I need to get that little mat off her little booty. Oh, she's gonna lay down right there. You gonna lay down right there? I can still see you. I can still see you. Let me see what she'll do when I stand up. Come here for just a minute. Come here, it's okay, mama. It's okay. I'll come around this other side. What you gonna do if I come around this other side? It's okay, mama. It's okay, I know. You're just scared, baby. Oh my God. Don't be scared of me, please. Oh my gosh. I can't hardly stand it. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be scared of me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh 
sweet baby. Oh my God. It's okay. Do you want to go inside? Let's get that mat off your tail. Huh? Come on, let's do that. We'll say we're going to sign off for now. Go get that mat off your tail. Maybe we'll get you some uh, chicken breast. That'll make everything better. All right, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.